Britain warns Putin of war with NATO if Russia steps a single toe cap on its territory. Here's a summary of the article. B. Ritain bluntly warned Vladimir Putin on Monday that he would face war with NATO if even a single toe cap of a Russian soldier stepped into the territory of the military alliance's 30 members. Cabinet Minister Sajid Javid also accused the Russian president of committing war crimes, with Russian troops reported to have attacked 31 health centers in Ukraine including a cancer hospital, as well as a maternity hospital. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned on Sunday that it, it is only a matter of time, before Russian missiles fall on NATO territory after Kremlin forces fired 30 rockets at the Yavoriv military base, less than 15 miles from the border with Poland. The attack on the center, where Allied troops trained Ukrainian soldiers before the war started, killed at least 35 people and injured 134 others, according to local reports. Mr. Javid warned Moscow against any attack on NATO countries. He asked NATO leaders again to establish a no-fly zone over Ukraine, but the West has so far refused to do so amid fears it could spark a wider war across Europe. Mr. Robb would offer Britain's help in gathering evidence of war crimes, he added, and in pursuing a case against Mr. Putin and his team for committing such atrocities. This post received a score of 53,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I feel like the next month is just politicians yelling? You talking? To me. It's the Randy Marsh, Stephen Sondheim bro down in real life. Let's do this bro. You wanna bro down bro? Hash come at me bro. Fuck you, Tony. No fuck you. Only reason I'm not scared of nuclear war is because where I live is prime territory to be the direct center of a nuclear blast so I won't have to live with the consequences. Same. I'm just hoping they give us the 15-minute warning so I can climb a hill and watch. If, when nukes start firing, we will all likely get an emergency text message a few minutes before impact for some gold old-fashioned doomsday panic. Assuming the person in charge of the text doesn't panic. Or they choose to not send it out to avoid said panic. Or when they send it out accidentally like in Hawaii in 2018. I was there for that. Life-changing 36 or so minutes. Any stories you can share? My friend and I were making beach sandwiches when our other friend came in with her phone and showed us the alert. Um, guys? Right after, my phone went off with the alert. When I went back inside I decided I needed to pee and one of our less than calm friends was running around like a chicken with his head cut off and followed me into the bathroom. GoPro friend kept running upstairs to check the news and let out a whoop when they announced the mistake. It's really hard to describe the feeling, we're going to die but we all are bonded for life experiencing it together. I will say that afterwards, especially once I got back home, things felt different. Some things were less important and some things were more important. COVID has put a finer point on those feelings for me. That was really interesting and I'm glad you shared it. Didn't. T. Putin already launch an attack on British soil. The chemical attack in Salisbury. Yes, Russian agents brought military-grade nerve agent into the West to perform an assassination, which they messed up, and killed an innocent woman instead. Picturing Bugs Bunny Putin tapping his toe across the line and then pulling back into a demure pose. I love it. Lol title said? Single toe cap? So he pulls back after one half past that line? If Putin did attack NATO I think he'd try to make it look like a mistake or do it in disputed territory. It allows him to test the water so to speak, and if NATO reacts strongly it gives him a narrative to make NATO the aggressor, which is important to ensure he is supported by his citizens, generals and allies. If NATO react weakly, it gives him license to push a bit more. What the right reaction from NATO is, I'm not sure. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.